Hi, my name is Rory Chambers and I'm an ICT teacher at Lodge Park Technology College in Corby, Northamptonshire in England. Now what I'm going to show you today is how you can add a simple image to your Connect application and how you can get it to update because a lot of people have problems with the source code and how to get pictures to update as soon as you do something with it. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our sample. So if you right click on that and open it. The first thing you'll notice is that we have our existing program from before. Now the first thing we're going to do is add in our image. So if we go to Toolbox and click on Image, all you need to do is move across and your cross hatches, just click and drag, drag them. And you'll notice there's no picture there, and that's because we need to find it in our source. So if we click on these three buttons down here, three dots, click on Add, and my pictures are on my desktop and I want some Christmas ones so I'm going to use these two so click on open and you notice both your pictures are there so I'm going to click on Santa and click OK now the other thing I'm going to do is rename my image to Christmas image Now, if you go down to the code below here, you'll notice that your Christmas image has a source. Now, I'm going to copy and paste, copy this because we'll need it later. So if I copy that. Now, what we want to do is add in the next bit of code which is when you hover your hand above your head or hover it to the right now if I double click on mainwindow.cs or right click and open I'm going to go down to the gesture that we made earlier so when your hands above your head do this when your hands below your waist do this now the first thing you need to do is to tell your program where your new source is going to be so I'm just going to type in URI and a small one equals new URI I'm going to open my brackets and paste my source that I copied earlier now if you notice the Santa image is there but what I want to do is change this to Rudolph.png and comma URI kind dot relative. Now what the relative does is it chooses which folder it's going to be in. If you had absolute, you would probably need to express which drive you're getting the picture from rather than running it in your program so that's something to be aware of then I'm going to go image source image source equals new bitmap image because we're telling the program that there's a new image and then this dot Christmas image because remember we called it Christmas image dot source equals image source and what you'll notice now when I put my hand above my head so I'm just going to run that Okay, so when I put my hand above my head, it changes to Rudolph. 
see if you can do a simple one. But the thing you will need to remember is you can't just keep adding in images so that you can add extra ones into your program. All you'd need to do is right click, add existing item, and then you can go and change that to image files and find new images for your program. No, so if I went into my pictures folder, found a picture of a dwarf, that then appears there. I hope that's been useful and I hope you can make some nice interactive resources for your class. Uh, if you have any problems, just contact me on Twitter or visit my blog, raychambers.wordpress.com. Thank you.